that's a secret that unlocks performance that you've never even dreamed of. Because when you excel in knowing where your threshold is and you say, okay, I'm content with that. That's why I always said, be content with enough. What is enough? It's going to be uniquely different for all of you. $15,000 winning trade may not be significant for some of you. For other people, that's a whole year for, and I'm done. I ain't got to do shit now. So it's a, it's a matter of personal preference and where you are, what your expectations, what your skill set for, provides for. But your mental capital, the way you build that up, is when you have the victory like this and it's it's done well. And you may have never taken a trade on this. But remember, in your journaling, you're going to be recording it like you saw it coming and you did. You're tricking your brain with pseudo experience. So you're always constantly laying down foundation psychologically because this is where all this battle's won. It's not in the chart, it's in your head. Because you can talk yourself out of a winning trade easily and you can talk yourself out of a short-term drawdown that will eventually pay out if you just stuck to the model and what you're trying to trade. But your mental capital needs to be increased. How do you increase your mental capital? Because you can't deposit mental money. It's experience. That experience factor is something that goes largely untouched in terms of teaching. Mark Douglas didn't talk about it enough. He didn't really get to the grasp of you have to fortify yourself between trades. When you've done something correctly, sit still. Feel what it feels like to be content, not needing to go to that next trade. How do you know you're ready to go in and trade with live funds? How do you know when you're ready to do a, a, a funded account challenge? When you're not driven by the passion to get into a next new trade. If you're the person or persons that always tweet to me when I'm calling something out and it delivers, you're the first person in the line that says, what's next? What's going to do next? You're not ready, bro. <laughs> you are fucking not ready. You're a fiend. You're literally cracked out. You're, 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 you're equipped to have a crack pipe in your fucking mouth and you're literally out of rocks and you want to get the next one. You're, you're fiending. You're not ready. You are absolutely not ready. The people that are like, yeah, I'm going to take this week off. But the market's going to do this. Yeah, sorry. That's someone that's got the right mindset. If they're already consistent in terms of what they can see and forecast and price action, and they can take themselves away from the market, even when they know there's something coming. That's maturity. That is a, a skill set that if you can forge that before you press into real money, that factor of, well, discipline, it will serve you so well. But you all think it's just the stuff in the charts that's what you need. The new ICT gimmick, the new something set up or model, whatever. And it's not. I've given you shit. I've given you so many things already. But you are the missing final piece of the puzzle. And you don't want to believe me. Because it's painful. I'm going to constantly remind you. Every time I talk on the Twitter space, I'm reminding you. Sometimes gently. But in this one, it probably hurts a little bit. It probably feels off-putting. Don't hit the don't hate the messenger, okay? I'm I'm Dr. ICT. Okay? I'm telling you, this is the medicine that you need. It doesn't taste good, but it helps you. It makes you better. And it's important for you to grow and understand how to do this correctly and not hurt yourself. That's why I teach in a demo. Because if I teach in a demo and I go out there and I show you what I'm doing, because the misnomer is this. If I'm the number one guru on Twitter, right, Patrick? Um, and I'm trading with a demo. I don't trade with live money. I'm already loaded. I don't need to prove people I have made money in the marketplace. I don't need to do that. I'm calling it. My students are making money. This stuff happens. That's all that needs to be known. That's the only thing I promise, that you're going to learn how to read price action. I did not promise you profitability. That's something that you individually, you individually control. But if, I ha if I'm out here in public, in, in the mode of an educator, and I have no emotional commitment that holds me back about using a demo, then you should have no problem practicing in one. If your mentor is operating and teaching through the medium of a, of a demo, I don't listen to these jokers out there that have something to sell. Oh, wow, he does this and he does that. And they're not even doing anything close to what we do. Their whole month, I could do that in one fucking day. One day, from beginning to end, show you the whole fucking history. Done. 
I don't need to do that. I don't have a little dick complex, okay? I'm completely content with who I am, how I am, and my own length. I don't need to worry about anything else. So when you're looking at this, don't view what you're doing as a demo is not significant enough because it is significant because you're reading price. The same price action that's unfolding in that demo is happening for people that are trading on real money. The real money people that did everything opposite to what you were doing are expecting in price action and lost their ass. Believe me, they know for fucking certain that that shit just happened to them. I'm teaching you so that way you have no emotional connection to this. You have no connection to it emotionally. So you can't be swayed in the periods where it will do its damage. You can't get all, you know, egotistical because you're not, you're not making any money. You're not getting taxed. You, you can't go out and spend those demo dollars, but you're getting that experience and you're allowing yourself to learn what I'm teaching you. When you get it right, pause. Feel what it feels like to get it right. Give your journal time between entries where you executed and your next trade. I'm not convincing you or I'm trying to talk to you into taking trade after trade after trade after trade to fill your journal up. That's not what this is all about. It's quality over quantity. And just because I'm teaching you the skill set through the medium of day trading, it's not every day trading. There's recklessness out there and people gravitate to wild cowboy type shit. And I've done that stuff. And I, I fell victim to it when I was coming up. I saw people doing some crazy stuff on America Online. I was like, well, I want to do that too. And I got hurt. And I tried to force myself to learn what it is they're doing. And I couldn't do it. So I just stopped. If I'm not able to bridge the gap for you, I'm not the best mentor. Okay. I've said this many times before. I'm not the best mentor. I'm sure in years to come, someone's going to properly learn what I'm teaching and they're going to do a better job of coaching other people. Okay. Until I'm done, that can't happen. But November, we're done. I may not be able to fulfill that need that one of you or individually, some of you that are listening, I might not be the person that can deliver it. It might be one of my children later in, in life that, if they decide to go that route. I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. I have limitations as a person. I have things I wrestle with and I'm a real person. So I'm practical. I know that I'm not going to reach all of you. And it hurts me because I try very hard, very, very hard to try to do whatever I can to allow you to understand what it is that you need to know and to eliminate the things you're worrying about. And it frustrates me when I see people not listening to the sound advice that I wish I would have, I would have paid whatever I had to learn how I'm teaching you. Like I'm trying to be, because I know what it was like. I lived it. I mean, I, I know 20 year old Michael. I, I mean, I'm that guy. And if I would have had this, it would have done so much for me. It would have encouraged me when I needed it. It would have kept me aligned properly and it would have allowed me to control myself when I didn't have any control. When I would win, I'd want to go back in right away. When I lost, I'd want to go right back in. Like I, I was not fearful. Once I learned certain methods of getting in, you know, I was looking for it all the time, not understanding that the market's going to have an ebb and flow. There's a time delivery to all this shit. And unless you understand that, just the liquidity alone is not enough. It's essential, but it's not enough. You have to know how, how they use time. And that takes time to teach, which is why I tell everyone you know, a minimum is a year. And that's just really scratching the surface. Your best learning is going to be in your year two through four. But you can be profitable all through that. So don't let that be a deterrent. Don't let it be like, oh, I'm, you're saying I can't make money. No, you can fucking make money just watching the YouTube uh, playlist from 2022. If you have a general foundation of understanding what price action usually does, you're, if, if you're familiar with trading, and you go into that model, you can go right out the gate, boom, and start finding profitability. I'm convinced of that. But the problem is, is I have a lot of people that come to me that are greenhorns. They're brand new. They're just right out of the, the womb. <laughs> Here, make me a trader. I, I don't know how to walk yet, but make me a trader.